Hello. Today we're going to discuss creating an Azure virtual network, creating a subnet, and creating a network security group and assign it to the subnet. So what's a virtual network? Let's think of a virtual network as a building. And inside this building, we have floors. Each floor represents a subnet. Now you can control who goes into those floors, meaning like traffic. For example, you can control HTTPS traffic going to what floor? Does it go to all floors or just one floor? Also, you can control traffic between different floors or different, different subnets. Why do we need that? We need it because we can isolate and secure those subnets. So we can provision resources in one subnet and then isolate it for security. So let's get to it. We start by logging into our Azure portal. Click on create resource from here, or you can come in and create a resource from here. Search for virtual network. and create. The first field here is your Azure subscription. If you do not have an Azure subscription, you will need to create one. The next field here is a resource group. The resource group is like a container where you put things. So you would need to have a container that you would add your virtual network inside this container. You can, if you have one, you can select it from the drop down, or you can create a new one. I V now. The name of the virtual network. So you would pick a name that suits your business needs. I'm going to call it here Lab VNet. And then you can, uh, you, 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 you have to pick the uh, region where your virtual network is. In my case, I'm going to pick East US and click next. Now this is the address space. And this gives you a lot of uh, IP addresses. As you can see, the default is this one. You can change it if you need to. I'm just going to keep it as is. Also, for subnets, it does create a default subnet for you. As you can see, this is a slash 24 and this is a slash 16. So you have a lot of room to create more subnets. So I'm going to create an additional subnet. I'm going to call it subnet dash A. Now for the address space, I'm going to choose 10.2.0.0 slash 24. As you can see, it says that this, this subnet is not valid. So you have to know your, your CIDR uh, range and your subnets. So I'm going to have to change this to 10.1. Dot one dot zero, and this falls in the range. So it's ten dot one dot zero. Those are the two last digits that you can change. So this is a subnet. Uh, we're gonna ignore. There's no NAT gateway, and we're just gonna have to add it. Now we have subnet A, which we created, and we have the default subnet. We can always create, remove the subnet if we don't need it. But I'm just gonna keep it. So this is now a building. And there are two floors here, simply. Once we're done with this, we go to security. We're gonna ignore these things. We're not gonna do any of these. Tags, review and create. And basically we're gonna create, click on create. I take a couple of minutes and then it's gonna get created once it's done. 
we can go to the resource. Now, if we need to go to this resource, simply we can come in here and search for virtual networks. And here's our virtual network. Here are the sublets that we created. Sublet A and the default one. And that's it. That's how you create the subnets. Now the next thing thing is we're going to discuss how to create a network security group and assign it to a subnet. So what's a net network security group? It's basically an access list. If you're familiar with firewall access lists, this is it. This is it. You control what kind of traffic goes in and out from each subnet to each to the other subnet and what external traffic that come can come in if we want to allow any external traffic and also internal traffic by default inside of an azure vnet or virtual network traffic between subnets is all allowed but we can control that so let's see how we can do that so again we go to create a resource from here or from here we search for network security group and we create one. Same idea of the subscription, the resource group, which I just uh, created one. I call it by VNet. The name, let's call it security. Dash lab East US tags review and create. So while this is deploying, it'll, it'll take uh, less than a minute, maybe. We go to the resource. So as you can see by default, Azure allows any inbound from the virtual network. So any traffic between the floors or the subnets is already allowed. So if we want to add things or delete things, we can't play with these, but we can add additional rules. Let's say we want to add RDP, remote desktop, from outside. We click on add. To the inbound security the source ip we can say from any ip from my ip address of course this is not a good idea to allow rdp from any ip usually if you need to allow it you'd allow it only if you from your ip and and restrict all other ips but we'll just give an example here so let's say my ip address or an IP address or any IP address, the destination, if we have multiple resources in a subnet and we allow it to any, let's say we have two virtual machines and we allow RDP to the subnet to any, basically it'll work for any machine inside the subnet. Anyone that can connect to the subnet would be able to RDP into any virtual machine. However, we can restrict it and say, we want to allow this to a specific virtual machine uh, with an IP address of, of uh, whatever your IP address of the virtual machine. But in this case, I'm just showing you how to create one. So we'll leave it at any. Now you can pick what service you're allowing. In our case, we're allowing RDP. So I'm going to pick RDP. If your service is not there, you can just say, custom and then put the port number here whether it's uh, 443 3349 whatever in my case rdp is there i'm just going to put it in there i'm allowing tcp you want to pick whether you allow or deny you want to give a priority Pri priority basically works in order so if you allowed rdp and then denied rdp your rdp would always be allowed and so on and so forth the name, I'm going to say allow 
my RDP and we'll just keep it as one word. If you want to put a meaningful description here, you can. And then you simply click add. It'll take uh, less than a minute. And as you can see, if you refresh now, it'll allow here. It'll uh, show up here. So that's it. That's how you create a network security group, subnets, and a virtual network. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment. Please remember to uh, support this channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you and see you in a different video.